This episode of Daddy Diaries is sponsored by Johnson's Baby, which has been looking after families for over 125 years and now including our twins, who you're about to meet. Guys, the news BB wants to tell you for so many years, we are finally dads. Twins are here. So guys, make sure you watch the whole of the episode because you're about to see our babies for the very first time and you can only see them here on our YouTube channel. And make sure you stay tuned because there's some more surprises coming, like revealing the twins' names. I'm just aware that this is a that magnitude of this day is, is massive and I just want to make sure everything goes swimmingly. Did you sleep last night? No, I slept terribly last night, like genuinely badly. I just think it might be actually quite emotional because this is this is the it's the first time they've ever come home. So this is what we've been waiting so long for, and I can't believe we're finally there. But we're about to bring our babies home from the hospital for the very, very first time. See, the extraordinary thing is, and I don't know what to do. Like, it's, it's what to wear. What do you do? Do I do you wear something classical to go to to hospital or to pick up the kids for the first time, or do you go kind of cool dad, like Mean Girls, cool dad? I think you're overthinking. Are you nervous? No, I just, I'm very aware of the of the magnitude of this day. We've waited for such a long time, and actually, we're picking like picking up the kids is a big frickin' deal. And I want them to be like, wow, they're going to be stellar parents. As in the kids or the, or the hospital well, staff? Well, both. These are, this is like this. This is what I'm wearing today. Is this okay? No, great. Yeah, it's okay. lovely. No, it's lovely. I'm sorry. I look very nice. I'm sticking about myself. Sorry. Great. Okay. Well, no shock there. <laughs> We've been planning bringing the babies home for so many months. However, we haven't actually thought about getting papped and how we're going to avoid that. Could you imagine just walking home from the hospital, like that first moment that we're actually out and about, and it's such a private moment and it's just taken by some photographer? Weird little points is, is we really don't want any paps to catch us. That's one of the things we don't want, because we want to keep it slightly more secret just for a little bit longer now, and that would really bugger things up. So if someone sees us walking in with a pram and they tip someone off, someone will come and take a photo? Yeah, you're absolutely right. There must be a back exit. I mean, where the royals go out. A bit much. What? Yeah. Where the royals go out. No, I know, but like, like I, who's going to... Like, oh, Gareth thinks it's a royal. No, like, it's not that. What I'm saying is where, where like, if you're like super high profile... Where oh, again, okay, another super Fuck high profile. Off. But no, I'm with you entirely. If we go to the car park, we can go through the car park and get up and lift and it goes straight in. Great. OK, we'll do that. Oh, this is really nerve wracking. Come on. I actually feel Sorry. sick to my stomach. <laughs> this is a real, this is a big, this is big. If someone looks in a second and be like, oh, look at your lovely baby, they'll be like, you're mental. We're just two men out walking with a pram. <laughs> we just look nuts. I'm starting to feel like a dad, like actually starting to feel like a dad. All right, this is it. Oh. So we're at the hospital and they're doing their final checks and we're getting the kids ready and we're finally ready to bring them home. We're about to finally bring these babies home and into our world. It's so surreal, isn't it? It's so surreal. And they just are just so beautiful. Look. Keep them alive for the next 18 years now. This is Chelsea. How are we going to get up the steps into the house? Fine, all sorts of yeah. certain other things. Through the front door. Hold on. Babies, look. Hi, guys. Welcome to your new home. After so many years, you're here. Back you're in home. Our house. They're actually home. This is Cosima and Apollo. This is little Apollo. Look at Apollo. God, we pick weird names, don't we? No, Apollo's the coolest name Apollo in the world. is the coolest name. I don't know who will agree, but I like it. And Cosima. I've only ever met beautiful, lovely Cosimas. Do you know what? We've actually got in a habit where we just call her Cozy. Cozy or Cozy? Cozy or Cozy. This has been an awfully long time in the waiting, and actually today is a monumental day. I know it's been quite difficult in some parts, but it's like, it's a lot. Like, walking out of that. The hospital today, we were like, bye. And then we're like, we're now officially parents. Like, the, the, like the... And the, it's, it's, like, it starts, like the real stuff starts now. What's this? I'll take Bear, you take Apollo. Right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So anyone that knows us knows how important our dogs are to us. And introducing the twins to the dogs is quite a big deal. If they don't get along, that's going to be trouble. 
Welcome to your home, my darling. We love you two very much. But also, we've got to look after these two. That's two more in your pack. Aslan yeah. will be fine, because he's like, the pack's got bigger. Suddenly, the small man's got more, more force behind him. I can utilise these new recruits. Bear's looking at me like, what have you done? Bear's like, I put up with Aslan, but now two more? Yeah. Bear's throwing up, bear with me. Yeah. You being sick. Hi. Why are you being sick? Oh, little man. Should we pop them in their cot? Don't like the idea of two dads. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> oh, yeah, hates it. Oh, what's that? Hates the idea of two dads. Bear is a wild homophobe. No. That's right. It's like two men having babies. <laughs> do you want to, what, what one do you want for Cosy? These are sleep suits. Because we'll pop them down in the, in the playpen. Oz. Okay. Would you like stripe or stars? Uh, Stripes? Okay. Uh, wait a second, let me just She's see. smaller. Yeah, stripes. Stars are smaller, you're having, you're having stars. My boy's getting in stripes. <gasps> Little man. Today is just one amazing memory after another. We've got to take the kids home. We put them down for their first nap. We've done their first change. It's just unbelievable. They are literally just so tiny and so beautiful. Like, they're super perfect. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Let me get your little sweep suit. Stay there, don't cry. I think it's a one-man battle. Can you please open one of those and help me? Oh, oh well, that's, your one's easier. Devil, do I get the hard one? My one goes all the way around. Right, pop her in. Good girl. Pop, yeah, yeah, right at the top. My little head's going to come out the top. <gasps> pop her arms in. What's amazing is they've only been home for just a couple of hours. However, you can really see their personalities, like individual personalities shining through. Yeah. Polly's just like you. Earth is that meant to be? <laughs> you are so impatient and so lazy. It hasn't gone unnoticed, yeah? They were saying that in the hospital that Apollo is the laziest thing in the entire world. Oh, I hate baby clothes. They're so small, my hands are so big. My, I'm going to have to get one of those back supports off of like, Amazon. My back is already going. It's really attractive. Back I'm going to walk around like this. Master. <laughs> Hello, master. Hello. I've just become a little slave to you, haven't I? Look. This is just absolute heaven to have them home, isn't it? I can't believe you're here. There we go, my good boy. You're like a little sea porpoise, aren't you? I'm going to call you porpoise now. Do you know what's really funny is they haven't been together like this in a while, Bubba. They have a barrier normally. So this is probably the closest they've been together since being in the womb. So this is probably a good time to tell you that we've got a little bit of a confession. And we did promise that we'd share absolutely everything with you. However, we have been keeping a bit of a secret. The babies were actually born six weeks ago. It has been a scary time. Uh, they've been in neonatal uh, intensive care for quite a long time. They're all perfect uh, and really doing well. And now they're home. It was something that we just didn't want to share until we had them safe back home with us and all part of the family. Now we're all home and happy and stuff like that. We're going to make sure that there will be an episode all about this super, super soon. But for now, we're going to try and concentrate on something that's really difficult, and that's Cosima trying to have a poo. Baby constipation is the devil. Oh, you're, you're constipated as hell, aren't you? That's the issue. I know. You just need a turd. I know. Whoa. Right, I think we should probably turn these lights off here. Um, they always say keep lights on, I think. Often. No, not overhead spotlights, my love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Top right. Yeah, there you go. There you go, guys. A little nap time. Also, I think the fat, bless her, she's literally got some cementy poo in her. It's all right, Tony, you can do a dump whenever you want. When? That's the best thing about when being a daddy, baby. When this daddy changes your nappy, that's when we all do poos, yeah? yeah that's when other daddy does. Didn't she do a poo and made you gag the other day? Yeah, fully. Who'd have to change it? Your Amelia, sister? yeah. That's really bad. And it was really bad. But it's your child's own poo. I know, but it was something else. Why? It was just, I don't know, it looked like a... What? A pipe or like from Chernobyl or something. What colour was it? Do you know we have to record the colour of their poo now as well? Should we try and get some music? Because some, like, it's a no, bit... No, no, no. It needs to be... The, there's no background noise going on. If they have consistency in music, they'll... What I want them to be is just the noise of the house, because if, if it becomes a problem, we've got those things we can put on that will help them sleep. But if they become dependent on it, like when we're out and about, they'll, they'll need that to sleep. So I think when something becomes a problem, that's when we add something like that. Otherwise, I think they're fine. They're super chilled. So Gareth is a really practical person and he's already being a very practical father. 
That's not a problem. I just like to have a plan and like to execute it. I think you get it for your parents. Yeah, obviously. Okay. We're gonna have your first. We're gonna have your first at home nappy change. Do we have a code brown? Do we have code brown? Please be code brown. No. no pee. Oh, use the nappy bin. Yes. Now she won't like this very much because it's very cold. Oh, One minute. I know. I know. But then look. We're all done. Look. Then we're all done. <laughs> Aslan, no. Aslan, get away from the pissy thing, please. These are a bit big for you, aren't they? That's what happens when you're a very, very small girl. So as we said, we've got a huge story to tell you about the last few weeks, and you can only see that right here on our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. It's totally and utterly free. It's down to the amazing NHS team in the neonatal units that we've been in. That means we've got the kids home now, and the real dadding is about to begin. Thanks. What's this? Right. Oh boy. See, this is going remarkably well. All right, dribbles. You are nailing this. Good girl. Trip over the window. Oh, oh no. Oh, Mr. Cunt. Oh, we're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. There we go. You're going to get food after this, mate. So it's positive reinforcement, isn't it? You just hear Daddy saying this to you. We're definitely getting you in those zip ones in a minute because these buttons are doing my head and I've been doing them one day. Good Christ, that is amazing. But that's... Whole bottle in literally oh, like... I'll tell you why, she struggled earlier because she's constipated. She might have just, it might have alleviated her. Yeah? Aslan, you're being such a good boy. You're being such a very a good, good boy, boy, aren't you, good darling? Boy, this is, it. I must say, look, everyone in the hostel has been amazing, but it is just so much nicer just being here. Just being at home and you sit there and be like, look at the dogs being protected, which is the most extraordinary thing. I wasn't gonna, quite expecting that. You're going to have more. Don't, you, do, don't you fall asleep on me. I need your help. Why? Because there's two babies and not one, and they're both screaming. So it is our first day, and I think you'll find it's going pretty well. However, because there is two of them, if one of us takes a break, that's when all hell lets loose. They're okay with me, it's just when you're on your own. Rude. <laughs> oh, little girl, come here. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Hello. I know, I know, I know. Hi. Neither of them had a poo today, have they? No. Okay, fine. I wonder how frequently they poo. Some of these right, so tonight we've got to feed them every three hours. So we'll stand at six o'clock now, isn't it? Yes. So we've got to feed them again at nine, and then we've got to feed them at midnight, and then we've got to feed them at three in the morning, then at six in the morning. You're going to be up a lot of the night. Oh, well, let's just see. I think we're nailing this day one. Yeah, this is day one. We haven't even slept yet. Like we haven't I know, even I know, gone I know. to bed. I don't know how you feel. I'm absolutely exhausted. I mean, that's very really silly. I know we didn't sleep much last night, but like, this is really intense. And I know it's it's meant to be, and it is. But it, it's um, it's twins is a lot. Give me a burp, little birdie. Oh, thanks. Charming. I remember when Binky's daughter was this old. And I told her she looked like Pauline Quirk from Birds with Feather. She didn't speak to me for two months. That's when we first started dating. She wasn't speaking to you because you said that because I said she looked like Pauline Quirk. Well, she did. I mean, she did. Yeah, not wrong. She did. She's very beautiful now. Yes. How weird is it that we've now just got two kids? Yeah, we've got two children. I don't know whether it's actually sunk in yet. Well, do you know when it was sinking is when we were just going out and about with them in the pram? He is so tired. This is going to be a wild adventure. I mean, how hard can it be? This first 12 hours is fairly dreamy. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. 